guys welcome back to part four of my uh, tutorial series uh, for anybody that's new um, there will be a link in the description of this video so you can go back and check out the other episodes um, we've got a pretty packed episode coming up first thing we need to do though is talk a little bit about Dave because there's been a, a bit of an incident again with Dave and unfortunately I've had to lock him up. Now it was a tough decision to make, I must admit. Um, but we've discovered that it's mating season for Dave. And Dave's been basically off. He escaped. Yesterday it was. And he's been doing some pretty horrible things to mole rats. And yeah, there's been a few incidents with some of my friends as well. And one of them actually had to get a grognak axe and threaten Dave with the old snipperoo. So for now, we've locked him up. But rest assured, he'll be back out later for his Dave time. But for the rest of this episode, uh, I'm actually going to show you guys how to build the merge studio, which is at the back of me. Um, I'm going to go for every single step. I'm going to show you how to build the structure which is a circular build. Uh, we're going to blueprint it. It's also a merged blueprint, which you'll see how that works out once we've done it. And yeah, I'm going to take you through every single part of it step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so for the start of this, guys, we've actually took a bit of a road trip to one of the workshops. Now, we've come over to Wade Airport, which I've shown you here on the map. The reason I've chose Wade Airport is because of it. It's great for building large round structures because there's so much flat ground. And I'm going to start off with something that's been around for a long, long time. And that's just how to do a circular building. So I'm going to start off with just placing a foundation. This is my center foundation. Then from that, I'm going to build out round all of the edges, basically. I mean, if you just watch the video, you'll see you'll see what I'm doing. Um, so basically, this is gonna this is how big our circle, the structure will be. So I'm building two out on each side. Next, as you can see, I've built all these round. But next, what we need to do is remove these foundations. We don't need these ones, so we'll get rid of these. Then, what we want to do with the centre foundation is we want to stand as, as central as possible. So line yourself up as best you can. Then, what we want to do now is start placing door frames. And to do that, you can place it as wall and change it, which I'm about to do. Mainly because I'm actually doing a, a voiceover on this. I'm not recording this live. So, as you can see, I've actually put a, door, a, a wall in there, but I want it as a door frame. It has to be door frames, because door frames enable you to move the foundations. Then, with this foundation, we want to pick it up, and we just want to slide it over, like so. Trying to keep it as perfect as possible. The height and just... Just let your stick take it round. Then put in another door frame. Then we just keep repeating this process. Now I'm doing this probably quicker than what I normally would do it. Um, just for the sake of this video. But guys take your time doing this. It does take a bit of practice. But as you can see we've come to the edge now where there's this other foundation. But what we want to do now is actually just head on over to the next foundation along and start doing exactly the same so I'm, I'm not quite central there so i'll place myself central so again door frame pick this up and move it around now the reason we do it this way with all the four foundations around the edges is because you can get a better circle that way so again we just keep on going now I'm going to speed it up a little bit because yeah, it does it does take quite a long time. It does take a little bit of patience to do this. But if you just keep going 
Um, it may take you a few attempts as well to get it perfect. Um, I mean, some I, I can tell now just doing this, this isn't absolutely perfect circle, but it'll do. Then you just go back to all the other foundations that you got placed around and you just fill in the gaps. Just by doing the same method, sliding it across. See, this one's quite a bit out, but it'll be all right. But anyway, guys, that part's done, as you can see. And now we want to remove three of these foundations, but we want to leave the center foundation and this one foundation on the edge that's connected. Now, the reason we want to do that is because we actually want to put foundations on the outside of this build. So we need to go round the entire edge by do using this method, sliding that inner foundation across, placing an outer foundation. And you need to do that all the way along. So you've got this but at the end. You've got foundations on every single wall facing outwards. So now we can actually get rid of that one. Always leave the centre one in. Um, now the centre one, as you can see here, I'm actually going to raise it up a little bit. And I'm going to build a small structure here. Now you don't have to raise it up or you can raise it up as much as you want. You can do whatever you like with this part. But this is because we're building the actual merge studio. This is what I did. So a 3x3 three three structure in the centre. So that's basically this part done. What we need to do now is we actually need to blueprint. So we're going to make a blueprint. Now, blueprints, you're limited in size on a blueprint. So you'll see the meter going up as I'm selecting every single one of these structures. Now, we want to blueprint everything we've built. So it doesn't matter what order you do it in. We'll start with this center part, and then I'll go around and I'll do all the walls. And then after I've done all the walls, I'll go and do all the outer foundations. You can see the meter filling up, so you can't have giant blueprints of like whole buildings in like made this way. So this will lead on to the next part of building the entire building. But as you can see, I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to blueprint absolutely everything. Now there's lots of different size circles you can do, there's all types, but I might show that in another tutorial. Um, but for now, because we're just building a specific building, this is what we're doing. But now I've highlighted it all, I'm going to create the blueprint. Give it a name, name it whatever you want. And then this part is done. Okay guys, so I've basically moved over and set a camp down. I've done it here at White Springs because I know that this happens to be quite a nice flat area. The flat, because it's a large blueprint, the flatter the area, the better, to be honest. Um, but once you've got your camp thing down, pull up your blueprints, select the name of the blueprint, whatever you, you called it, and here it is. So basically when you want to lay it down, make sure the square in the middle is all lined up so it's in front of you. So you're walking in the building in the right place, basically. And then you'll probably need to raise the height up. Just find the right place where you want to put it. And then when you do place it, like so, you will see the merge. So all of the foundations that were on the outside are now all merged together on the inside. And that's because they're connecting to the walls the correct way the walls are facing. So you can make lots of different blueprints using this method. Um, but this is how it works with the circles. So as you can see, guys, that part's all down and ready to go. Now, before we do start building the rest, I have a few little things that I want to tell you to be careful of. Placing foundations on the outside of this building, they can become permanently placed. So make sure that if you're putting a foundation on the outside of this building, that you want it to be there, else you might have to start all over again. It's not always the case, but it is a lot of the times. Now, I've got a little trick here for if you wanted to, let's say, build this building a little bit different for me, and you wanted to do double walls all around the outside, 
So instead of using foundations on the outside, because they might get stuck, use the method I'm showing you here. So just place a door facing outwards, change the door frame to a wall, then just remove the wall. And then what you'll be able to do is get another door frame and you'll be able to place the other door frame reversed because it's connecting to the door itself, like so. And then you can go back and place another door frame that way. So that's a, another method of doing double walls without using foundations. So that's just for if you guys wanted to change this up a little bit. Because obviously you don't want to build it the same as me maybe. You want to try, there's lots of, you know, you can just go mad with this and build it however you want. But anyway, that's, that's the little warning parts. Just be careful with your foundation placing. Now, we're going to get back on to the rest of the build. I've started changing some of the walls here to the glass. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all around the top and I'm going to place half walls. Now, you don't have to place half walls. You can place full walls and do whatever you like, but... Yeah, this is going to be an exact copy of my Merge Studio building. So now I've done that, I'm just going to change all the bottom walls to glass like this. So this is what we're left. I've built this little platform at the front as well. So for the next stage, is going to be getting the roofs on. Now, the, the, this part can be quite fiddly. Now what I'd suggest is just place... Um, your roofs where you can where they'll just be able to click in snap in I should say you just go around and it should be every other section you should be able to place one and then obviously now we can't put any more roofs in because they're intersecting with the other roofs so what we need to do is we need to destroy the roofs that we've put in so we're going to need to flame up now you can do this if you're on your own, um, just using a normal flamer trap and then building scaffolding up, taking your trap and individually setting, like destroying each part of the roof and then snapping more in. Um, but and I wouldn't advise doing it this way guys unless you really have to because it's going to take, take you a long time. So a quick method to do this is to get a friend and make sure you're not on a team and basically all you need to do is make sure his pacifist is off and your pacifist is off so uh, if you want to know where pacifist is just go into your menus just go down to settings go down to game and you'll see pacifist just turn it off always make sure to turn it back on again though guys unless you want to be pvping but anyway, now just hit your friend, he'll hit you back. And now he's technically an enemy, so he can destroy your camp. And that's basically what he's going to do for me right now. He's going to go around and he's going to destroy every roof that I put in. Now while he's doing that, you're, you just keep on building. Like You place the roofs where they need to go and as you'll see they'll just be able to place now we'll speed it up a little bit and just keep on going all the way around it can be a little bit tricky a little bit fiddly but they will go just move around a little bit and yeah it takes some time but it's a lot quicker doing it this way but anyway all that's done now that that section's done that was quite quick and easy doing it this way um I could repair them now, but I'm not going to. Uh, there's not any point at the minute. Because the next stage, what we want to do, is we want to put in some more half walls. Like so. So again, I'm going to go around, placing the half walls where I can. And they will snap onto destroyed parts. That's why I didn't repair. So I'll just go around, and as I'm doing that, Rack, my friend, will go around destroying them all. I'll speed it up a little bit. And there you go. As he's destroying it, I'm placing them in the other sections. I mean, you can imagine how long this would take if you was doing this using the flamer trap on your own. A long time. 
But anyway, now I'm going to repair it. I didn't need to repair it now, but I just wanted you guys to see where we we're up to. So this is what we've done up to now. Now, the next part, we're going to want to get the upper roof section placed. And we're going to use exactly the same methods that we've just used to place all this bottom. I'm going to get the roofs that I want. And I'm just going to start snapping them in where I can. And then as I'm doing this, Rack, my friend, will be going around destroying them. He does like to destroy my stuff. And as he's doing that, I'm just overlapping them, placing them where I can, filling up the roof. Now this roof part is quite intricate, so it does take quite a few panels to actually cover it completely. I always watch out for the little triangular sections at the bottom. That will tell you that you've not got a roof there. It's hard to keep track of it all sometimes. But anyway, once you've actually placed all the ones around the edge, you can just go and place a flat roof in the centre uh, to cover the hole. And that basically will be your roof done once it's repaired. So I'm going to fast forward to it all repaired. And basically, there we go. This is the structure that you're, you're left with. This is the exact same duplicate of my Merge Studio. Uh, all we need to do is just change all the walls, uh, all the door frames back to walls, and you can go ahead and decorate. Change the floor in, put wallpaper, just do whatever you want to do. Um, it's all there now, the structure's complete. If you want to build off of the structure, you can. Just be careful that when you do snap a foundation on, it might stick there. Um, so just make sure that's where you want it. But now, I think it's time to go and speak to Dave. Dave? Where are you, mate? What? Dave? Who's the dude in the cage? A little bit concerned here. So, Dave, what have what you been doing? What's happening here? What? Ah, okay. So we've got a mannequin with a pumpkin head. Hmm, very creepy, Dave. And all, oh, and a couple of pumpkins with candles inside. I think I like this, Dave. Yeah. How did you make it? job Dave well done mate I like that I think that's pretty good a little bit early for Halloween but yeah I still I still like that but that's everything from Dave guys um, he's gonna now go back into his cage if any of you if anyone's watching this that's new to these tutorials and you didn't know quite what Dave was doing there if you go back and watch the previous episodes it'll show you the techniques that was used to drop all the items 
Um, for the rest of you guys, I'm going to be back in probably a week, a week and a half with another episode where I'm going to concentrate on using non-Atom Shop items for some merges because I've realised everything we're doing is pretty much Atom Shop. So we're going to use some in-game plans and we're going to see what we can come up with. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And me and Dave will see you for the next episode. Thanks, guys. Yeah.